think that was good enough, guys. I have butterflies. This is the first time I've ever experienced this sort of anxiety doing one of these tutorials. It's a classic song. It's difficult. And there's so many notes, guys. It's just so many notes. Never Going Back Again by Fleetwood Mac, Lindsay Buckingham, Pacifically. Yeah, you have to put a capo on the fourth fret and then you need to go into drop D tuning. Or you can go into drop D and then put the capo on the fourth fret, I don't care. So drop D tuning is just where you tune the top string down to D, okay guys? Then the capo on the four means you put capo on the fourth fret. Like, do you feel in my voice? I'm like nervous right now. Uh, okay, you, ha you have to have the capo on four. If you don't have capo on four, the frets are gonna be too big. If you're like, okay, look, see how these frets are bigger? Why am I getting into this? I quit, I quit guitar and I quit life and I quit YouTube and I quit your birthday party as well. You see how these frets are bigger than these frets. The frets get smaller and smaller as they go. So by putting capo on the fourth fret, which is what he does in the original song, not only does it make the key correct and all that, it also makes the frets a little teenier and it also makes the strings a little bit easier to push down on. So if you try, you can do it without the capo, but that's like doing it with like ankle weights on or whatever. Actually though, if you wore ankle weights, I don't think it would make this song any harder. Capo on the fourth fret, drop D tuning, guys. We're gonna break this song into some chunks. We've got one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four. I don't know, five, I don't know. Okay, several chunks. First chunk, guys, please put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. And then this is where I'm gonna lose like 90% of you right away. You have to bar the second fret with your pointer finger. So on the bottom four strings, go ahead and smash down with your pointer finger. We don't actually care about the bottom string. What we care about is that you're pushing on two of the third string from the top, third string from the bottom, and second string from the bottom. Then put your middle finger on the third fret of the second string from the bottom, and put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the top. Guys, no pick for this. We're doing finger picking. We're using thumb and these three fingers. We're gonna take it nice and slow for this first chunk. With your thumb, play the top string open. Then take your time and pinch together the third string from the top and the second string from the bottom. You're gonna use your thumb and your middle finger. I think, I'm not positive, but I think every single time you play the second string from the bottom, you're gonna use your middle finger. So we're going thumb on top, then pinch. Let's just enjoy this easy part while we can and play that a couple times. We're just gonna go thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch, play it with me, you're doing a great job. All right, I like to take this part of my hand and just kind of put it right here to anchor my hand into place. I think that's how Lindsey Buckingham does it as well. Some people use their pinky to anchor down here. For me, that makes my hand feel too tense, so I don't like doing that most of the time, but it's a totally legit way to do it. Another thing you can do is not have your hand anchored anyway, and, and underwear. You can have your hand not anchored underwear, I'm nervous. You don't have to have your hand anchored underwear. You can just have it floating here and use the tips of your fingers like that. I prefer to have this part of my hand right here. Do each his or her their own. Guys, let us please play uh, the, with your thumb, play the second string from the top open. Oh, but keep this hand over here. Great, okay. After you play the second string from the top open, then you're gonna get rid of your ring finger and your middle finger, but keep your pointer finger pushing on the second fret, and you're gonna pinch together those same two strings we did before. So now we've got this. Thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch. One, two, here we go. And thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch. After this, we have our first difficult part. Right after you do that pinch on the second fret, you're gonna take your middle finger and your ring finger and hammer on to those two notes we did before. So that was four on the third string from the top and three on the second string from the bottom. So now we've got thumb, pinch, thumb, hammer. One, two, here we go. And thumb, pinch, 
thumb hammer. Now, a couple crucial things here that are for this part and the rest of the song. Do not let your hand come out like this, especially when you're barring and everything. It's going to be tempting to have your wrist bend and the back of your hand come out like that. It's, you don't want to do that. You want to keep your fingers curved, guys. It's going to help with the hammer on. It's going to help with just your wrist health. It is crucial that you keep your wrist straight and your fingers wrapped around like that. Do you see what I'm saying? Great, fantastic, amazing. Let's go ahead and play this first little part a couple more times because after this, we're in for a doozy of a time. One, two, here we go. And thumb, pinch, thumb, Hammer one and two and one more time and thumb pinch thumb hammer. Make sure to use the tips of these fingers. Do not lay them flat. It must be the tips of these fingers. Only your pointer finger is allowed to lay flat. All right. Immediately after that hammer on, you're going to play the top string open. Then with your pointer finger, play the third fret on the third string. Oh, shut up, idiot. Go die. You said the wrong note. Can you believe it? No one's gonna ever forget this and your life is over. Thumb plays the top string open, pointer finger plays third string from the bottom, which is on the second fret over here. We're just holding this chord, so we're just going thumb, pointer. Then you wanna take your pinky and add it to the fifth fret of the bottom string, and then you're gonna pinch together the third string from the top and the bottom string. So now we've that little, those last little few notes we just did were thumb, pointer, pinch. Play that with me, guys. Thumb, pointer, pinch. One more time. And thumb, pointer, pinch. Then keep this hand over here. Your middle finger plays three on the second string from the bottom. And then your thumb and pointer finger pinch together second string from the top and third string from the bottom. So now that was thumb, pointer, pinch, middle, pinch. Play that very slowly. Thumb, pointer, pinch, middle, pinch. Guys, check out my hand. How you doing? Are we doing okay? We have three more notes in this chunk. Are you prepared? After that pinch right there, then your ring finger plays the bottom string, still on the fifth fret. Then your middle finger plays second string from the bottom and your thumb plays third string from the top. You pinch those together. And then finally, your pointer finger plays third string from the bottom. Those last three notes were ring on the bottom, pinch together second from the bottom and third from the top, and then pointer finger plays third string from the bottom. Guys, that is the whole first chunk. Let's review it quickly and then we'll play through it. So you play, you don't need your pinky. You just need these three fingers. Thumb plays the top string, then pinch, then second string from the top, then hammer, then thumb on the top, pointer finger, third string from the bottom. Add your pinky to the fifth fret, pinch together third from the top and the bottom string. Middle finger plays second string from the bottom. Pinch together second from the top and third from the bottom. Then bottom string with your ring finger. Pinch together second from the bottom and third from the top. And then point your finger third from the bottom. All right, guys, we're gonna play this first section so slowly. First chunk, I should call it a chunk because the section is like the whole verse. This is just the first part of the verse. Therefore, I call it a chunk. You should trademark that because no one's ever used the word chunk before. I just ripped off a little piece of paper. I'm not, I'm not gonna eat it. Okay, so the rhythm goes like this. It goes slow, 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 fast, 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 fast. One, two, here we go. And slow, 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 hammer. Fast, 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 fast. Uh, two, a uh, one more time. And slow, 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 hammer. Fast, 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 fast. Here's what I want to try really quickly. Just for, pra this isn't what the song does, but just for practicing's sake, we're going to do it twice in a row without stopping. One, two, three, four. And slow, pinch, thumb, hammer, thumb. 
start over. How many times, this is you ready for me to start preaching to you about boring stuff? How many times do you think you'll need to play that before you truly know it? What do you think? Four or five times? Maybe, maybe, maybe seven times? Eight, ocho, that's Spanish for eight. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Wrong! You're gonna have to play that, I, I don't know, a thousand times? Put on a movie? I'm making a, a boring movie so you're not too distracted by it. What's a boring movie? Godfather's boring. Like, I know it's great. Every, I know it's the best movie of all time, of course. Also, a little boring, right? Blade Runner, that's another boring but good movie. Okay, actually, I've never seen it. I'm just assuming it's boring but good. Am I, in the comments, is Blade Runner boring but good? My name's Stuart, welcome to the channel. Now that I've just uh, said two of the most beloved movies of all time are boring, uh, I want you, this is a perfect time to subscribe to the channel, you guys. I've got so many songs that are on the guitar. And uh, mostly on guitar. Also, um, my dog shows up occasionally. That was a word, right? Okay, I'm so nervous. Second chunk. Keep this chord going over here, you guys. With your thumb, play the top string. Then pinch together the uh, third string from the top and second string from the bottom. Keep these fingers here. And then immediately after you pinch those together, you're gonna pull off those fingers. Keep your pointer finger there, but pull off your middle finger and your ring finger. So if you just pull your fingers straight off of the string, it's gonna be okay, listen. It's okay. But if you can kind of like pull down and pluck the strings with these fingers, that's even better, watch. That was not my best, let me try one more time. That was a little too much. Guys, getting carried away over here with my plucking pull-offs. I said plucking pull-offs, I don't, didn't say what you think I said. After you do that plucking pull-off, then your thumb plays second string from the top open, and then your things get a little bit different, guys. You're gonna, with your pinky, play five on the second string from the bottom, and with your ring finger, play five on the third string from the top. So this is the first time we've abandoned our post over here, and we go to five and five. Pinch those two notes together with middle finger and thumb, and then we're gonna go right back to our regular chord, our one we're barring on two, playing three second string from the bottom, four third string from the top, and you're gonna Pinch together uh, the second string from the bottom and the top string. So that was this. Two, three, four. One more time. Okay, at this point, you're gonna keep these fingers here Add your pinky to the fifth fret of the bottom string, and then you're gonna pinch together the bottom string and the third string from the top. Use your ring finger to play the bottom string if you can. So that was. Three, four. And then immediately, quickly, you're gonna use your middle finger to play just the second string from the bottom, and then use your pointer finger and your thumb to pinch together the second string from the top and the third string from the bottom. Uh, let's add a couple more notes. Then your ring finger plays the bottom string again, and then your middle finger and thumb pinch together second string from the bottom and third string from the top. So that whole last section there, we played thumb, Pull off, thumb, then up to five and five, then back to the regular chord. You pinch together top and set. Oh, you can see my reflection. Let me get rid of that. So then you go second string from the bottom and the top string, and then add your pinky, pinch together the third string from the top and the bottom string, middle finger plays third from the bottom, pinch together second from the top and third from the bottom, bottom string, and then pinch together second from the bottom and third from the top. All right, let's play that whole part. I know, I know, you don't quite have it memorized yet. Just do the best you can. We're gonna do it very slowly. Second chunk, here we go. One, two, three, four. A little bit 
slower. Was that right? I wasn't paying attention. I got distracted because I hit a dead note and then everything fell apart. Guys, I think we're doing a really good job. Should we play part one, chunk one and chunk two together? Let's do it. Do you remember chunk one? I think I remember it. One, two, nice and slow. I think I might have played it wrong the time before. That time it was right. I taught it to you correctly. Look at this. People of the world, friends and relatives, if you are a human being from the planet Earth, your hand is probably getting a little bit tired right now. You're maybe right here. That's where it gets me is my thumb right here because I'm pushing with my thumb. Oh, I should say if your thumb is po poking up over the top, you're screwed. Keep your thumb back here. Hopefully, hopefully no one had their thumb poking up over the top. You'd be dead by now if that were the case. I need to give my hand a little break just to rest because um, what starts to happen is even if your hand doesn't like hurt, your muscles start getting tired and it just gets harder and harder to play the stuff accurately. Your hands won't feel tired, but the, it'll just start sounding worse and worse and sloppier and sloppier. So we're taking a quick little, quick little break. Let me show you some of these books back here. Uh, I've read like three of these books. I read The Lord of the Rings. This is captivating. That was a great break. Intermission is over. Back to the song. Time to learn chunk three. Get your pointer finger barring that second fret on the bottom four strings again. And then anybody that I didn't lose the first time I told you to bar, I'm going to lose right now. This is a hard song. What do you want me to say? Take your pinky, keep your pointer finger on that second fret. Take your pinky and put it on the fifth fret of the second string from the bottom and put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the top. So you have to span four frets while barring. Here's a little tip, guys. Uh, for me, it sometimes can help if I hold my guitar like this. Like if I have it sit on my leg like that up high, I can just get better leverage and stuff. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that right now. Guys, we've got this crazy, crazy, crazy chord right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna smash down with all your fingers as hard as you can. This is not gonna move for a while, so get as comfortable as you can. Then you're gonna play second string from the top with your thumb and the bottom string with your ring finger. Pinch those together. Then with your middle finger, play second string from the bottom. And then with your thumb and pointer finger, pinch together the middle two strings. So that was pinch, middle, pinch. Pinch, middle, pinch. Play with me. Here we go. One more time. Great, okay immediately after those three notes, one, two, three, your ring finger goes and plays the bottom string again. One, two, three, four. Now we're on to note number five. That's what comes after four. That's how letters work. Numbers are different than letters. You learn something new every day, so dumb. With your thumb and your middle finger pinched together second string from the top and second string from the bottom, and then with your pointer finger, play the third string from the bottom. And then let's add two more notes. So we just went pinch, pointer. Then with your thumb and ring finger, pinch together third string from the top and the bottom string. And then play the second string from the bottom with your middle finger. So those four notes were pinch the second from the top and second from the bottom, play third from the bottom, pinch together third from the top and the bottom, and then play second from the bottom. If we put that with the first four notes, then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guys, are you ready to play it with me? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there is kind of a pattern here that's gonna continue, but I don't actually think it's gonna help you very much when you're trying to learn the song. But here's what's happening. Our thumb is just going like this. Back and forth between those two strings. And our fingers are going 
on those three notes. So when you put it all together, it's... So there is a pattern, but it's a weird, like, sort of polyrhythmic-ish pattern. So that's why we're just kind of learning it by, by rote. I don't know what by rote means. Does rote mean you're learning it in an ineffective way? All I know is that the, is that the high evolutionary yelled something about rote memorization in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and it stuck with me. That movie was sad. I didn't quite cry. Oh, uh, no, I did cry. Let's play those eight notes slowly one more time, and then we'll move on to finish this chunk. Okay. One, two, good luck. All right. If we continue that pattern, the next thing that happens is thumb plays second string from the top and pointer finger plays third string from the bottom. Pinch them together. Then your ring finger plays the bottom string. Then pinch together with your middle finger and your thumb, the second string from the bottom and the third string from the top. And then your pointer finger plays the third string from the bottom. So those four notes right there were, look at this. Now that we have so many notes, it's getting so much harder to like keep remembering new ones. Ah, oh, can we try the first 12 of this chunk and see how it goes? Let's just do it. Let's try it. One, two, here we go. And pinch, middle, pinch, and bing, bong, bang, bong, bing, bang, bing, bong. For this whole chunk, notice we're alternating between a pinch and a single string. We're going, Pinch, single, pinch, single, pinch, single, pinch, single, pinch, single, pinch, single. See, guys, let's have a little pinch single party and play it one more time, very slowly, and then we'll add the last four notes. One, two, pinch, single party. Without thinking about it, I went ahead and added the last four notes. Guys, the last four notes of this chunk are exactly the same as the first four notes of this chunk. So that means your thumb plays second from the top, ring finger plays the bottom, then you play second from the bottom with your middle finger, then pinch together the middle four strings, and then play the bottom string. So that was just pinch, middle, pinch, bottom. Let's play the whole chunk. The whole chunk. One, two, Eighteen. Why did I say eighteen? Maybe I said eighteen. I pity the fool, Mr. T. We did it. It is time for us to learn the fourth chunk. Now, the fourth chunk is very special. One, because it's not the third chunk, so we all have so much relief. Two, it finishes up the verse, which is the same as the intro which makes up the vast majority of the song, and then we only have one more section to learn. Guys, we have to go back to our starting chord. Hopefully you remember the starting chord. I'm not gonna show it to you again. You pinch together top string and second string from the bottom. Then you play third string from the bottom. Then you play third string from the top with your thumb. So that was... Okay, we're doing fine. Let's do it together. Here we go. And bing. Bang, bong. Then you're gonna go back to that five and five thing. Remember, it was ring finger five, third string from the top, pinky five, second string from the bottom. Pinch those two together. As soon as you pinch those together, you're gonna slide up to seven. But here's what's a little tricky. At the same time that you slide up to seven, you're gonna play the second string from the top with your thumb. So it goes, that's a little, that was hard for me to get used to going, Let's just practice that a few times. We're gonna go pinch, slide, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, two, here we go. Pinch, thumb, whip, pinch, thumb, oh, pinch, thumb, uh. How's it going? Okay, let's play up until there. One, two, fourth, chunk. All right, we're doing, I know we're playing it slow. Guys, we have to play it slowly right now. It's just the way it goes. Right after you slide up to seven, then you're just gonna play five and five again. Just pinch them together with your thumb, middle finger. And then you're gonna go 
back to the first chord, but with the pinky on five of the bottom string, you're gonna pinch together top string and second string from the bottom, and then thumb plays third string from the top, ring finger plays five on the bottom string. So that was four more notes, guys. Thumb plays second string from the top, pointer finger plays third from the bottom, thumb plays third string from the top, middle finger plays second string from the bottom. So that was one, two, here we go. Pinch, thumb, bottom. We finished the fourth chunk. Let's play the fourth chunk very slowly all the way through. We're gonna go like bang, dong. One, and a two, and a one, two, fourth chunk. Rhythm's a little bit weird. Do it one more time. Here's the plan. We are going to play chunks three and four together, and then we're going to play the entire intro slash verse riff, guys. Chunk three, do you remember it? Bar on two, you play five and five. One, two, and a very slowly, here we go. And It's time for us to play the whole entire riff. For right now, we're just gonna do it once, and then later we'll try playing it a couple times in a row. Because in the actual song, he repeats it like one, two, three, three. Is it three? Only three times? I don't know how many times he does it. Well, that is a tale for another time. Let us play the entire riff from the very beginning. Oh, you're like, I am leaving this video. I do not remember this at all. One, two, oh, and yes. I know that sometimes playing things slow is harder than playing them fast, but when you do it slow, then you are forced to play it accurately, so I'm actually being a really good teacher by making you do it slowly, even though it makes it more difficult. One, and two, and one, two, here we go, and thumb. Nailed it. Nailed it. Especially the last four notes I did perfectly. Uh, that actually didn't even feel that slow. How, how fast is the actual song? It's like... Yikes. We're almost there, guys. You're gonna get it. Just a couple more, a couple more days, right? All right, time to learn the chorus, you guys. Chorus is a, chorus goes a little something like this. One, two, three, four. And there's a little bit more. Let's learn it. Would you please, for me, go up to the seventh fret with your pointer finger. Now, because of the capo, I actually think of this as the 11th fret. It's the seventh fret from the capo, but here, I'll make it, let's make a deal, guys. From here on out, we're just gonna call the frets what they actually are. So we're calling this the 12th fret right here, and so we actually wanna be on the 11th fret with the pointer finger. Your pointer finger is gonna bar the bottom four strings on that 11th fret. Then put your middle finger on 12 of the second string from the bottom. Put your ring finger on 13 of the bottom string. And your pinky, your tiny baby little pinky is gonna play 14 on the bottom two strings, you guys. Obviously, some of these fingers are like covering each other up. 
But this hand position is what we want for the first three quarters of the chorus, and this is the secret to the whole thing. If you try to like move your fingers around during the chorus, you're screwed. Your pinky is the only finger that's allowed to move. Occasionally, we're gonna lift up the pinky and then put it right back down onto 14 of the bottom two strings. Start it off by playing zero on the top string with your thumb. Then, using your ring finger and your thumb, pinch together the bottom string and the third string from the top. Those are nice and slow, so we just go thumb, pinch, and then the fast part starts. Your thumb plays second string from the top. Get rid of your pinky and play the bottom string with your ring finger. Then with your thumb, play the third string from the top, and then pointer finger third string from the bottom. Let's play that part. So we've got slow, fast, shut up, die. Here we go. And slow, slow, fast, 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 fast. One, two, play it again. And thumb, pinch, fast, 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 fast. Great job. You're doing a bang up, bang up work over here. Put your pinky back onto those bottom two strings. You're gonna pinch the outer two strings, the top and the bottom strings together. Then middle finger plays the second to bottom string. And then you're gonna pinch together the middle two strings with your thumb and pointer finger. So now we've got thumb, pinch, thumb, uh. Play that with me, guys. All right, uh, we're, we're making our way through the chorus, guys. Not that much left. Right after you pinch those middle two together, then play the bottom string, and then pinch together second string from the top and second string from the bottom. And then play the third string from the bottom with your pointer finger. So now we've got thumb, pinch. Uh, one more time. And... Okay, we're doing, we're doing a really, really good job. After you play the third string from the bottom with your pointer finger, then you're gonna pinch together the third string from the top and the bottom string, and then play the second string from the bottom with your middle finger. Guys, we just finished the first measure of the chorus. We're gonna play through it, but here's the good news. The next two measures are pretty much the same thing. Again, let's go ahead and play that first measure. One, two, here we go. And thumb, pinch, thumb, ooh, that was not what is happening. Sometimes the world is a vampire. One, two, play the song, and boom. My, both of my hands are getting so tired, because I know this video is only like 27 hours long or whatever, but I've been doing this for like five days. It's not true. It's been, I've been working on this for about an hour and a half. That's pretty reasonable, honestly, if we're being honest. And I feel like we can be honest with each other. My hands are getting tired. Okay. Uh, so that's the first measure. Second measure is almost the same. Your hand is still in that same position, you guys. Here's one of the differences. At the very beginning, instead of just playing the top string with your thumb, we actually want to pinch together the top string and the third string from the bottom. Not a big deal. You can even just ignore that if you want. We're going to pinch those. Then you're going to pinch the bottom and the third from the bottom, which is the same thing as you did in the first measure. But then here's the big difference between the first measure and the second measure of the chorus. After we go pinch, pinch, you get rid of your pinky, but you're going to go like this. So here's what that was. I pinched together the top, oh, sorry. Pinched together the second string from the top and the bottom string. And then play second string from the bottom. And then with your thumb, play third string from the top. And with your pointer finger, play third string from the bottom. So that was pinch, pinch, pinch. One, two, here we go. And pinch, pinch, then the second half of the measure is exactly the same as what we did the first time. We go. 
I did not play it correctly just then. I would like to thank you for your time here today. We're not done. I just thought I would get the goodbyes out of the way so we don't have to say goodbye at the end of the lesson. So thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure and I was so happy to share this video with you today. All right, um, let's go ahead and play the first two measures back to back. One, two, here we go. And boom. Second measure. I have such good news for you. The third measure of the chorus is literally exactly the same as the first measure of the chorus. So now we only have one measure to go. The legendary fourth measure to the chorus of never going back again. Goes like this. going on here but it's easy compared to the previous measure guys please play pointer finger second fret second string from the top mash down on the bottom five strings it is a whole big old bar chord put your middle finger third fret second string from the bottom or ring finger fourth fret third string from the top this is actually a b minor seven chord it's the only chord i've named in this entire song the names to the chords in the song in this song doesn't really don't they they don't matter because we're never going to play those chords again ever in any other song guys you're gonna play thumb, second string from the top, then pinch together these two fingers that you're pushing on over here. Then your ring finger is gonna play four on the top string. Your pointer finger keeps barring that second fret and you're gonna play top string, then play the second string from the bottom and third string from the bottom together just with your fingers. And then your thumb plays third string from the top. So that was thumb, pinch, thumb, and hey! Thumb, pinch. Play it with me, Rochambeau. One more time, touch your toes. So close to being done. So close to being done. Go back to this chord right here. This was actually, this is, so this is the first chord we did in the entire song. Add your pinky to five of the bottom string, just like we did before. You're gonna play pinch, the second from the top and second from the bottom. Then play the third string from the top, then play the bottom string. So that was pinch, boom, ga. Okay, so close. Your pointer finger is gonna move on down, so now it's only barring the bottom four strings on the second fret. Play the second string from the top open. Pinch together second from the bottom and third from the top and hammer on to three and four, just like we did earlier. So that whole last measure was. One, two, play with me and. Let's see if we can play the whole chorus very slowly. One. Two, here we go, and boom. beginning of the song it here's what you do you do the intro which is just that main verse riff then you go to the verse which is just that main riff two more times then you go to the chorus which we just learned obviously then you go back to the intro then back to the verse then back to the chorus then at the very end of the song you just play the intro again and you and you, like this you go you know it The whole thing. Ooh, my hands are very tired. Ah! You see what I did there at the end, guys? At the very, very end of the intro, I went. And then when you get back to this chord, you just strum the whole chord. And that's how you do it. We already said we didn't have to say goodbye because I said goodbye in the middle of the video. 
So I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm very busy today, guys. You can see right here how busy I am.